um, what it looks like in my imagination. I think it depends on what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I think I'm always trying to find the interior life of whatever project I'm, I'm working on. So if there are human beings in it, which there generally are, I'm trying to figure out how they would think and behave and, and act and move through the world. Um, but a lot of it is very imagistic for me, I think. I, I would say that there are a lot of elements and things that I'm writing where I'm seeing places um, and thinking about a lot of really nuanced details of physical geographical spaces. Right? So perhaps the interior of my imagination is a little quieter and a little more like the natural world than a heavily populated space. I could probably argue any project I'm working on would adhere to that. Yeah. I, I think that there is a very natural evolution as a writer, both in terms of the ways that I write, but also probably more importantly, the subjects and things that I engage that come with life, mm -hmm. right? Um, and learning from previous projects and so on. Um, so I, I think I think I always feel like I tend to think in projects. So I'm often not just writing individual poems. I, I begin that way, but very quickly I'm usually thinking of a larger yeah. scope of a book and so on. And I think that naturally comes as a thing that is an extension of my life at the moment. Right. So I think there's a very organic evolution with that. Um, so I, I don't know that I could ever. Like, I would never write the first book I wrote right now. No, that would make absolutely place. no sense. Yeah. That's a great question. I think poetry has taught me a lot about the interiority of humanity. Mm -hmm. I think I've learned a lot about people through not just poetry, but reading literature in general, that I think is reflected with real human engagement and a lived experience. I don't think it's just on the page, but I think it does something to illuminate the way that we pay attention to one another, the way that we listen to people, the way that we interact with each other. I think poetry has been hugely instructive in my life and in that kind of an engagement, right? Mm -hmm. So that I, I, it certainly made me a better teacher, I would hope a better partner and father and all of these things in terms of really you know, one of the things that poetry does, I think, is slows us down and makes us pay attention and, and really kind of engage in certain details. And I think a lot of work that I gravitate towards pays attention to very small, detailed things. So I tend to then model that in my own kind of engagement with people and with life in general. So this is an interesting question for me because in some ways I formally sit outside of Cave Canem. Mm. I've not been a Cave Fellow and this is my first formal engagement with Cave Canem mm. at the retreat and as an organization. Yeah. However, virtually all of my closest kind of community members have had a relationship with Cave Canem and I've been around those folks more or less since the inception of Cave Canem. So I've lived a parallel life with it. Yeah. Um, and have seen what it has done for community and not just for the individuals, but what it has done for the poetry landscape, mm -hmm. which I find hugely admirable yeah. um, in many ways, both in terms of the cultivation of individual people's work and giving them a place to refine their craft and get their work out into the world, but also it has fundamentally changed the landscape of contemporary poetry. And, and for myself, as someone who works in in academic institutions, the way that Cave Fellows have kind of populated the professoriate has been a significant way to shift the conversations happening, not just in the literary world outside of academe, but within academe as well, right? So it's, it's one of those beautiful things that I think came out of a necessary impulse and a desire to do something that felt like the right thing to do, but it has taken on this incredible life of its own that I don't know anybody would have imagined.